for the final Super Late Model event of the week. Underway at New Smyrna Speedway as Jason Carancy waves the greens. And we're down into turn one with Noggle leading the way. Nick Noggle getting the power down. He's going to jump out to the lead. Look at this. Here comes that 14-year-old from Minnesota, Ty Fredrickson, to the inside for the lead in three and four. Noggle gives him room up the banking off the four, uh, final corner there as Fredrickson pulls up nearly wheel to wheel, goes into turn one. Sideways a little bit able to save it as Fredrickson got into turn one a little bit hot did a nice job to keep it off of the 0-8 of Noggle and now he's pulling forward trying to clear Noggle for the race lead lap two to go on the board at the line but this lead battle right here the one to watch between Ty Fredrickson and Connor Jones Jones to the inside he's going to pull door to door into turn three Ty Fredrickson giving him plenty of racing room, although there may have been a little bit of contact right there through the center of turn four. Jones to the inside. He's going to clear Ty Fredrickson. New leader down in turns one and two. Crossover move by Fredrickson. Runs back to the inside of Jones for the race lead. Pretty early in the race for a heated battle, but they're aggressive. They're going for it. And meanwhile, Gabe Summers is closing the gap. Ty Fredrickson and Connor Jones really abusing their equipment as we've got a car in the wall here on the front stretch. I believe that is the number 12, Weaver, making some hard contact. To beat that 44 to turn one so he can close the door before they get to turn two. Green flag is out. Good restart for the front row. Fredrickson gets up on the go pedal, heads into turn number one. And as they go into two, up the banking, a little bit of bumpy middle of the corner by Connor Jones. Pulls alongside. Fredrickson and Jones nearly rubbing on the back stretch, heading to three. Fredrickson driving that number 36 car for all it's worth down to the bottom side of the racetrack. Right now, here comes Connor Jones. He's got the momentum off of turn four, but Fredrickson not giving it up without a fight to the bottom. Look at this. Knock, knock. Knock, knock on the back door. Here comes Ty Fredrickson in that 36. Fredrickson giving it another try, peeking to the inside. Connor Jones running middle of the racetrack in turns one and two. Fredrickson nearly got into the left rear, dropped back in line. It's crazy. Fredrickson really steps it up once he gets back into that second spot. This young man having a terrific run here in the first half of the Orange Blossom 100. Gabe Summers joining the party. We've got three cars nose to tail. That 36 car I'll tell you what after that red flag Adam that 36 car looks like it might be just a touch quicker than Connor Jones and he is to the bottom side of the racetrack give the lead back to Ty Fredrickson and it opens the door to the inside for Gabe Summers Summers all of a sudden the Wisconsin driver making Ooh. a run contact between Jones and Fredrickson coming off of two there's that aggression that Connor Jones is known for Given the shove to Ty Fredrickson off a of turn two. They're going to stack them double wide behind Fredrickson. Second, third, fourth, and fifth. Fredrickson's loving that in the rear view mirror. He wants to jump out and drive away from this battle for position. Fire and a big hit. And I believe that's the other Weaver car down in turn number four. As we lost the 112 earlier. And now it looks like a big hit for the 11 car of David, David Weaver, Weaver and driver climbing out of that machine as it has hit extremely hard. EJ Wilcoxon bringing the pace car back down to pit road field picking up the pace green flag back out. Let's see what happens as we head on down to turn one. Fredrickson with the lead. Fredrickson up the track will take the lane away from Jones. Jones in line. Doesn't make contact yet. Just maybe a little bit coming down the back stretch to the inside. Connor Jones, Gio Ruggiero following mm. closely. Opens up the door for Gio to the inside lane for the lead on the front stretch. Looked like Connor Jones may be hit, was a touch too focused on Ty Fredrickson on that restart. He opened up the door and Gio Ruggiero dove into it. Here comes Ruggiero in the 22 car to the inside of Connor Jones, side by side for the lead. Ruggiero stretches the nose out just ahead. He's going to lead across the start finish line. Two laps from halfway in the Orange Blossom 100. New leader is Gio Ruggiero, the driver from Seekonk Mass. Connor Jones not done yet. Uses a little bump coming off of turn two to the inside. Jones, the Virginian. Will take the lead right back. Here comes Geo's teammate, Brent Cruz, to the inside. Battle for second place as well as the championship points. Excellent racing at the front of the field as we come to the crossed flags. This time by halfway home. 50 in, 50 to go. 
Connor Jones with the advantage, but here comes Brent Cruz in that 24. 50 down, 50 to go, six lead changes already, and we may see a seventh in moments. Brent Cruz looking for his first win of the week. The 15-year-old has been outstanding. Second place finishes in some of the regular World Series races. Fourth place finish in the ASA Stars National Tour event. Into the inside for the race lead in turn one and two. Here comes Brent. Brent Cruz has the right front corner of his race car just to the inside of Connor Jones. He's going to fill that gap through turns three and four. Cruz on the hammer out of turn four. Who's it going to be? Jones continues to lead as they make contact here at the stripe. Jones brought it off the wall a little bit and made that contact on the front straightaway with the 24 car of Cruz. They continue to race side by side. Action. Hot and heavy in this Orange Blossom 100. New leader, Brent Cruz. No pressure at all. Half a straightaway in hand over Connor Jones as he works his way down the back stretch for the final time. Brent Cruz into turn three. What a week it's been. Three second place finishes and a fourth in the Clyde Hart Memorial. But for the Orange Blossom 100, 15-year-old Brent Cruz is victorious. He claims the Super Late Model Championship.